This video clip has been brought to you by ITN Canada, Canada's only integrated social media news network. I'm joined by Alex Miller, President of ESRI Canada. And Alex, we were just having a, a really interesting conversation about the roots of, of IT and, and uh, the roots of the Unix operating system. And I've always been fascinated by the kind of oral histories around it. And, I was wondering if you could share with uh, with our viewers the, the uh, your your perspective on how uh, Multics and those those technologies came to be. Back in the uh, 1960s, when IBM was dominating computing, uh, General Electric uh, wanted to get into computing. They were in computing, and uh, they decided to partner with uh, Bell Labs and MIT to create the world's most advanced operating system. Uh, so they had hundreds of people working on it for several years, and they created something called the, I believe it was multi-user time-shared information control system, or Multics for short. So uh, Multics um, uh, was, ended up being 35 million lines of PL1 code, and the computing power of 1969 wasn't capable of running a high-level language. Uh, with any, it took, in fact, the entire computing power was used just to run the operating system. So they uh, decided to abandon the project, and. Uh, the uh, Bell Labs guys had been uh, working on building a video game using Multics. And uh, they, uh, the, this fellow decided uh, he needed to, uh, to continue to develop this video game, so he built a cut-down version of Multics. And there are two uh, rumors around about why he, what he named this new system. One was he, it was castrated Multics, which he called Unix. <laughs> and the other one was single-user Multics. That's the more politically correct one. So anyway, that was the birth of Unix. He was also programming it uh, in a programming language called Bell Programming Language, which they'd shortened to B. And uh, he did a new improved version of that, and somebody said, what should we call it? And he said, how about C? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the birth of uh, C and Unix. So the, um, the, uh, the other partners, um, uh, MIT went on, the people from the MIT went on to found Prime Computer, and uh, built the Primos operating system around the principles of Multics. And, in particular, they uh, used the, a high-level scripting language called Command Programming Language, and uh, which survives to this day. survives to this day survives to this day, and in fact, it's part of uh, uh, Arc Macro Language, our, that programmed our Arc Info Workstation software was based on CPL. It's amazing how some of those interface technologies from the very early days of, of computing were more intuitive to use than some of the no ones question. That later. Yep. I was an old command line guy, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for the bit of history, I appreciate that. You're welcome.